we have different types of hacker there are black hat hackers gray hat hackers white hat hackers not just white or black or gray but we have some other types of hacker we have suicide hacker script kitty spy hacker and finally we have cyber tourist hacker or state sponsored hacker find more about these types from Wikipedia but let's define each one of them who is black hat hacker a black hat hacker someone who have some or many skills of hacking he can scan websites for vulnerabilities he can find information about websites companies networks he can do social engineering he can do advanced attacks against companies websites people to gain money to cause damage okay so he do many bad and illegal things all the time okay now let's define white hat hacker he is a hacker but wearing a white hat how 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 he is wearing a white hat he don't hack things or he don't cause damage to things using his advanced hacking skills he help companies to secure their systems to secure their users to cure themselves he don't want to cause damage to anyone he have advanced skills he know about programming he know about black hat techniques but he don't use them against innocent people or other systems but he can use all of them but with a permission from the owner of a website of a company of a application or anything but with a permission he don't do any illegal things never okay never now who is gray hat hacker gray hat well let's say he is between black he can do many illegal things and he is white he can do good things he can help companies to secure their systems but in sometimes he may hack some companies to steal some information to change some files like index he can have fun hacking systems illegally or he can use his skills to work as a penetration tester or physical hacker so he is a mix between black and white okay now who is suicide hacker well suicide hacker is a special type of hackers he don't or he hack any thing he can without making his connection anonymous or without clearing his tracks he don't bother with laws he won't police or authorities to quote him I don't know the reason but he is a suicide there is nothing he don't fear of okay he can stay in jail for a simple reason like he is a member of a website let's say let's say eBay he bought something from eBay but 
this thing that he bought is damaged or not uh, working properly as he wanted not in a good condition and he asked eBay to return this thing and get a refund or get something new but they refused they said it was good while they are sending it to him he asked them many times but no good response from them this is a fiction example okay not a real one I just imagined it right now so he will try to hack the website he will try to bring it down he will cause damage by any means he want to make his connection anonymous or he wants them to know about him they, he want to be caught so he will explain his point of view to them okay now we want to define script kiddy who is script kiddy well let's say he is someone maybe defined a hacker he is using some tools made by hackers to hack systems but he don't know the internals of these tools how or what is the concept what is protocols what functions what 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 is happening in each tools he just use it just a user he can point and click 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 okay 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 but he don't know the internals of tools he don't know about methodologies he don't know about laws about legal stuff about compliance he don't know anything about professional hacking he just a script kiddie now we want to define spy hacker well a spy hacker can work alone solo or work with a group or team organization a spy hacker can steal sensitive information from company to sell it to another company or from another firm to sell it to another firm or he want to steal important information from people from famous people to sell this information to other people or other companies or other firms or other organizations that they will pay for the information he have okay now we have another one cyber tourist hacker well cyber tourist hacker he is someone that want to cause damage to everything he want to make people afraid he want to damage systems he want to make the world a bad place for good people he can work in groups he can launch attacks from anywhere using advanced tools to cause damage to everything he can do denial of service attacks he can hack websites big websites and leak information or leak insensitive and important information to public and cause many many damage to everyone now we want to define state sponsored hacker state state sponsored hacker can work alone and can work with a group he is working for his country he want to hack other countries systems computers networks his country let's say china told him okay we want you to hack usa defense systems we want you to get blueprints of 
super secret or aircrafts to get inf important information about stuff we want or about new weapon, new, new tool, new device. We want you to steal something from another company or from another firm. He is working for his country. So he is a state-sponsored hacker.